Looking for the best digital oscilloscope without wasting money on junk? Stick around, this countdown goes from the worst to the absolute best. Let's kick things off at the bottom of the list with a pocket-sized scope that tries hard, but just can't keep up. The FNRC DSO-152 is compact, affordable, and looks pretty slick for a basic handheld device. But when it comes to actual performance, it's more of a toy than a tool. With a tiny 200kHz bandwidth and a single input channel, this scope is only useful for the simplest signals. Think basic hobby electronics or automotive sensors. Its small screen and basic trigger modes make it easy to use, and the USB-C charging is definitely convenient on the go. But that's about where the praise ends. It simply doesn't have the power to measure anything fast or complex. No serial decoding, no waveform export, and triggering can be glitchy. It's also got a non-standard input connector that requires an adapter, which isn't ideal for long-term use. If you're looking for a super-budget option just to visualize slow, low-frequency signals and you don't need any bells and whistles, this might be it. Everyone else? You'll want to look higher on this list. And by the way, I've included links to all the scopes in this video with the best prices down below in the description. Next up is the Hanwantec HO11, a step above the Amphinersi, but still very much in entry-level territory. It's another handheld oscilloscope, this time with better bandwidth at 10 MHz and a slightly more capable sampling rate. If the Amphinersi felt like a toy, this one's more like a basic tool. For hobbyists or field techs who need quick, portable signal checks, this thing can work. It's rechargeable, fits in your hand, and it's super lightweight. The 10 MHz bandwidth is enough for basic analog circuits or slow digital signals. If you're debugging something simple and need a quick look at the waveform, it'll do the trick. But again, it's very limited. One channel, no deep memory, and it lacks any sort of advanced features like serial decoding or math functions. Triggering isn't super reliable, and you're not going to get crisp readings on noisy signals. It's affordable, but definitely not flexible. Still, if you're just getting started and want something that works in the field without needing a laptop, the HO11 is a decent budget option. Just don't expect miracles. And hey, if you're finding this breakdown helpful, give the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Now we're getting into real oscilloscope territory. The Hantec DSO TC10 is a benchtop model that gives you way more value without draining your wallet. It's got two channels, a solid 100MHz bandwidth, and a 7-inch screen that makes signal viewing easy and comfortable. The Hantec comes with serial decoding for common protocols like UART and I2C, which is rare at this price. It supports SCPI commands, has 32 auto measurements, and even includes math and FFT functions. For entry-level labs or DIYers, it packs a lot of punch. The downside, no waveform generator, and it still uses an 8-bit resolution which limits dynamic range a bit. When both channels are active, memory depth drops, which isn't ideal for capturing longer signals. It's not perfect, but at this price point, you really can't ask for much more. If you're stepping up from handhelds and want a proper benchtop experience without spending a fortune, this is the sweet spot. It gives you serious performance for a hobbyist budget. Coming in strong is the Rigol DHO804. It's compact, powerful, and punches above its weight class. This scope gives you 4 channels, 12-bit resolution, and a massive waveform capture rate, perfect for catching those rare glitches in complex signals. Even though the bandwidth is only 70 MHz, that's more than enough for a wide range of tasks, especially if resolution is more important than speed. The 12-bit vertical resolution makes a huge difference when working with small analog signals. Plus, the high memory depth and fast update rate mean you're not going to miss anything important. It does share resources across channels, so performance dips a bit when you're using all four. And while it includes great visualization tools and connectivity options like HDMI and LAN, serial decode features may require additional licenses or upgrades depending on the model. If you need high signal detail and multi-channel capability, and you're okay with the 70 MHz cap, this is a solid mid-to-high-end pick. Ideal for engineers, advanced hobbyists, and anyone working with complex analog systems. And finally, here's the king of the list, the Siglent SDS-1202XE. If you're looking for a digital oscilloscope that does almost everything right, this is it. It's fast, reliable, and packed with pro-level features, all at a mid-range price point. You get 200MHz of bandwidth, a sharp 7-inch display, and some of the best waveform capture speeds in its class, up to 400,000 updates per second. It also comes loaded with serial decoding, deep memory, multiple trigger types, and fantastic signal clarity. It's basically a top-tier scope without the premium price. Sure, when both channels are active, the sample rate dips a bit, but that's common at this price. The fan's a little loud, and the UI isn't the fastest. But those are minor trade-offs for what you're getting. Whether you're a student, engineer, or electronics enthusiast, this is the one to beat. It hits the sweet spot of performance, price, and versatility, and that's why it tops our list. 
All the product links are down below in the description so you can check out the latest prices. If this helped you narrow down your pick, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more reviews just like this one. See you in the next one.